Hi folks, this is Atif, hope you're well and you're watching Moon333 and the information I'm providing here in this video is for educational purpose only, this is not intended to be investment advice. So please seek a duly licensed professional and do your own research as well for investment advice. Guys, today uh, we are going to do some technical analysis of Chainlink, uh, which is one of my favorite assets and I love to trade it and I love to post the charts and articles on this coin. I have been posting different charts since last two years on this coin. Uh, but today, um, I'm going to show you some of the signals which I have received that the chain link might have a pullback or drop from here now. Now, let's start. And this is my first, uh, uh, this, is, uh, this is the week chart, the long-term weekly chart. And here, uh, we can easily see that uh, the chain link took a powerful divergence, uh, a bullish divergence, up to 211%. And uh, before that, the chain link formed a double bottom. And everybody knows that after the double bottom formation, the price action can uh, make the higher than the previous high. Uh, but we can see that since the price action uh, has hit at this level at $4.58, on January 24th, here on the week chart, we can see that the price action could not break out this resistance level. So this resistance level has been found in the June 2019. And after that, uh, we, uh, we, we saw the double bottom formation. And now we can again see that the price action is so far not able to break out this resistance level of $4.58. We have one, two three touches uh, recently and uh, one touch on weekly chart on June 2014. So in total, we, we got four touches on weekly chart. So this is a very strong resistance that is not broken uh, since uh, June 2019. And if we see this chart, this is also the weekly live chart. And then we can see that the price action has uh, almost formed a parallel channel. Now you can see the price action is moving in this channel. And I have also placed the volume profile on the complete price action moving within this channel. And after that, we can see this is a very positive signal that uh, uh, the, the trader's interest is very weak at the support of the channel and very weak above this level of $3.22. And we have uh, the POC of this volume profile at uh, $2.88. So uh, there is a positive signal, which I was telling you that there is a positive signal, is this support level. One is the POC and, and this support level as well, because here we can see the price action uh, has faced a resistance while crossing up this level at uh, that uh, this was the resistance at that time that and that is two dollar and 88 cents almost and the poc of the volume profile is almost at uh, uh, at the two dollar and 48 two dollar and 70 cents sorry the poc is at the two dollar and 70 cents and this is almost at two dollar and 88 cents now if uh, the drop will be happened from here if the price action drops from here then we can expect that uh, we will have this support or the support of the volume profile the, the POC of the volume profile and it will be difficult for the price action to hit at this support of the channel at 1.54 dollars that is a positive sign so far uh, and uh, the negative signal which I have received are three one uh, first is this resistance level, which is not uh, broken since June 2019. And we can see at this time, the price action is um, also facing this resistance level uh, very strongly. And uh, the price action is not able to break out this resistance even, even after three attempts. Now, if we uh, see here on the weekly chart, then this is the most strongest signal I think I have received. Uh, this is the second one, the second signal, is 
the price action has formed a bearish bad pattern. Let's see the dimensions. This is the initial leg. The A to B leg is retraced between uh, 0.382 to 0.50 Fibonacci. And then B to C leg is retraced between 0.382 up to 0.886 Fibonacci as required for the B to C leg of bad pattern. And after that, uh, we can see that the price action has retraced up to uh, between 0.786 up to 0.886 Fibonacci level. Even though we can see the price action has uh, hit some spikes beyond uh, beyond this potential pullback zone or potential reversal zone, and even uh, beyond the resistance level of uh, 4.58 cents. But so far, uh, there is not even a single candlestick we, we, we can see here that is closed above this level. So all the candlesticks are moving uh, sideways within this potential pullback zone. Therefore, if we will see further bearish signals by different indicators and patterns, then it can lead to the strong bearish trend up to $2.88 where we have, uh, or up to $2.70 uh, where we have a POC of our volume profile. Cause the volume profile always works like the gravity. Uh, you can see that like uh, when the price action moved down here, uh, the, pro the, the POC that pulls it back towards itself and we can see the price action moved up to the POC and moved down and again the POC calls it back and you can see it is moved back to the POC but at that time it has crossed up the POC of the volume profile and now it is uh, likely to have some strong resistance level facing some st strong resistance here and if it will be dropped from here, then again, it will be dropped up to POC. That is up to 2.7 cents or maybe up to this support level that is at $2.88. Because the POC of the volume profile always works as a center of gravity for the price line and, I, and it always calls or pulls back the price line towards itself. And this is the thing the POC of the volume profile is doing on this chart. Uh, on this parallel channel, uh, but it all depends whether you have caught the, uh, the correct angle or correct leg of the price action, uh, then you can, ha uh, you can have a perfect POC of the volume profile and perfect trend of the traders you can see on the chart. Uh, is, this is my experience. Whenever you uh, uh, find any, ch any chart pattern on the chart uh, of any asset, whether you're, you're trading commodities or fiat or crypto, whatever, uh, you place, you always place the volume profile on the com complete chart pattern. For example, if, if, if you have found a wedge or a triangle or harmonic pattern even, you just place the volume profile on that specific pattern which you have found. Then you can see the latest developments and the trend of the traders where they are interested to trade and at what level they are not interested to trade. For example, here we can see the traders are interested up to here. And below this level, or at the support level, the trader's interest is very low. And above $3.22, the trader's interest is very low as, as well. So we can expect a drop from here. Or if there will be a breakout, then we can see a massive bull rally that will be more powerful than the previous bull rally because uh, that will be uh, the breakout above the highest price ever we have seen according to the Binance exchange. And after that breakout, the def uh, it will definitely make a new high and nobody knows where the chain link win will make the new high. And definitely if there will be a breakout happen, then definitely I'll post another video on that. Now let's move to the 12 hour chart. And here uh, we can observe that the price action of chain link has formed another bearish bad pattern within this bearish bad pattern of week chart. Uh, this is a 12 hour chart and I'm expecting if the, if the drop will be happening in, on this chart and it will be crossed more than uh, 0.786 Fibonacci level. This is the 0.786 Fibonacci level. And if the, if, uh, the price action will cross down 
this level and we will see some more candlesticks will be closed below this area then the drop will be reflected up to weekly chart and we can see a massive drop will be started on the weekly chart as well and if we will see the drop will be on uh, on the weekly chart then definitely it will be as per my opinion it will be up to poc or 2.88 dollars and from here it can be bounced back again and uh, there can be some more indicators we can use to confirm the drop on the week chart on the long-term chart for example if we see the indicators and the oscillators on weekly chart then all indicators and oscillators so far are very strong bullish uh, for example the, the moving average convergence divergence or MACD strong bullish and you can see the stochastic is also in the bull cross uh, but RSI is in oversold overbought zone this is the overbought not oversold this is my mistake overbought all right and there are chances that the RSI will be moved down from here like it has moved down from here and from here as well in the history of Chainlink and uh, stochastic did not visit the overbought zone so far like it has visited here uh, once it will be entered in the overbought zone there will be more chances that it will give a bear cross but uh, it is also possible that it will give us the bear cross from here like it has given a uh, few days back I think on 24th of Feb candle and if we see this to the MACD, MACD is so far very strong bearish once we will receive the, str uh, the bear cross from the stochastic and uh, moving average convergence divergence will start uh, turning bearish from bullish then definitely I'm expecting there will be a massive drop up to $2.88 or up to $2.70 like I have explained you here. So these were uh, the updates by the chain link so far but if you're a new trader and you want to buy the chain link you didn't buy it so far then I'll give you the suggestion to enter in the trade you, ju you just need to wait for this breakout maybe the price action will turn more bullish uh, and it will cross up this line of four dollar and 58 cents and if you will see one or two candlesticks will be closed above this level and you will see some price correction or price uh, reversal really and it will be not able to break down this support uh, which will be the previous resistance for the price action and at that time it would use it as a support then you can buy it because if this level of 4.58 dollars this is a very strong resistance even the key level resistance for the price action of chain link will be broken out definitely the the chain link will be more strong bullish than the previous rally and you can see that it will definitely give the highest price ever in the history of the chain link after breaking this level so this was the update so far by the chain link price action if i'll definitely receive any further developments by the price action of chain link i'll post more videos and articles on that if you like the video then do hit the like and if you didn't subscribe to the channel do subscribe it take care goodbye